The SCP which we will read is not flashy nor fun. I did not succeed, and I did not run. Through an hour of life in my darkest times, a kind man showed me the light. Now all I can offer are these foolish rhymes, in hopes one day he can regain his sight. The world we left behind was fun, but those adventures have since been done. I give you my light, my laughs, and my love, but you are untouchable like a guilted dove. A kind man once showed me to live. I hope one day I can help him to die. Item number SCP-6340 Object Class Euclid Security Level 3 Special Containment Procedures Containment staff are to be posted at a ticket booth of the circus to turn away visitors under the guise of the circus being closed due to staffing issues. Auxiliary containment staff are to be posted around the fence of the circus to ensure trespassers cannot attempt to sneak in through any back way. Due to SCP-6340's self-isolating properties, no further procedures are required. Description SCP-6340 refers to a circus in Salem, Massachusetts under the name The Troop of Lovers. Active between the dates of August 15th, 2019 to August 18th, 2021. The circus consists of a singular tent enclosed in a 100 meter by 150 meter fence with a ticket booth serving as a singular entry point to the location. The circus itself is sealed off behind an invisible barrier that prevents the entry of objects and persons. As such, further investigation has been rendered impossible. During its active period, performers and staff are observed within the barrier. Following the surrender and subsequent capture of SCP-6340's ringmaster, this activity ceased. It is believed these entities were produced by an anomalous effect. A theory later confirmed by journal entries surrendered by SCP-6340's ringmaster. Discovery SCP-6340 was discovered following the report to the local police of a circus sealed off by what spectators reported to be magic. Further investigation found SCP-6340 was first active on August 15th, 2019, and it was not until August 18th, 2021, that SCP-6340's ringmaster exited the circus and was apprehended by the containment personnel. Following his capture, he surrendered several pages of a journal and informed staff he would not resist capture. The surrendered journal pages are recorded below for the sake of records. Page 1. Wonders Colors surrounded him like fluttering ribbons, swirling in the air and twisting around one another. The lights continued to dance in the wind. High above, at the top of the tent, acrobats dove from towers only to catch suspended rings and twist around them like snakes. As though they had no bones, they swung to a crescendo and dove down to the swings below. All the while, a kind man and I stood in awe. You made this, he exclaimed. You twisted light and sound into your own personal circus. It's ours, I said. One last wonder. It can't last forever. The colors began to twist and morph, suddenly collecting in a swarm and bursting apart into thousands of lightning bugs. Wondrous hues of purple and pink buzzed about us and dotted the sky above. Framed against a deep shale gray sky, they make their own stars. Come on, Mondrit. I know you're prone to flights of fancy too. Tell me what you want. It could be anything, anyone, just... 
I felt a hand running along my arm, warm fingers caressing the silken garment I wore, until the path finally reached my neck. From there, I leaned into the touch, letting the kind man run his fingers through my hair before coming back to caress my chin, tilting my face to let our eyes meet. You. Page 2. Dream. As cold winds whirled through the circus tent, sleep closed in around me. Warm dreams threatened to bite back against the rising tides of anxiety. Tomorrow would be the end, but for now, my lips trailed down the kind man's neck as we curled up into one another's arms. He nestled his head into my shoulder as I tried to move away. Rounding his arms around me like snakes and holding on for dear life. Not yet, he cried. Please, just a little longer. I froze mid step as my lover begged me to stay. I could not deny him. I slid back under the sheet and allowed myself to be held. Just a little bit longer. He basked in the warmth of the sheet in one another's close embrace. Even as the shadows seemed just a bit lighter. Fading like the light of a warm summer's evening. I'm here, Montreat. Don't leave me, please. I won't even dream of it. Page 3. In loneliness. The bed was cold when I awoke. Empty. I knew he wouldn't stay forever, but it was worth it to hope. Page 4. Surrender I can hear the sound of heavy footsteps outside of the circus, the aren't subtle, but I do not believe they care to be. They cannot enter, but they want my attention. They want me. The lights begin to flicker and fade. The stars, the lightning bugs, go out one by one. The acrobats tumble from the perches and shrivel up, fading and fizzling out into black ash and smoke as the rings and swings tumble together. The sheets remain as cold and empty as they were when I awoke, but beside the place I once laid is an indent, wrinkles in the sheet in the shape of a person, where my kind man once laid. With this journal in hand, I will exit the circus. I will surrender. I created this circus for him, but he has left, and now there is no meaning.